let me introduce our city to you. Panevėžys is a city in northern Lithuania. This year, it celebrated its 520th birthday. This animated map of the city is done with the support of the Panevėžys County Gabriela Petkevičaitė Bite Public Library and Panevėžys Open Youth Center. The current coat of arms of Panevėžys is red brick building symbolizing the city gate. The coat of arms was approved by the Presidential Decree in 1993. Here are a few facts about Panevėžys. It's the fifth largest city in Lithuania. It's first mentioned in a historical document on the 7th September 1503. The city was built by the Nevesius River, which is why it was named accordingly. The city is famous for its industrial sites. There are food, milk, oil productions, textile, glass industries, and others. Some of them are out of use and turned into art spaces, such as the scanning factory building and industrial factory Ekranos. Let's go to the very center now. This is the statue of Alexandros, Grand Duke of Lithuania and King of Poland, who was first to mention the name of the city. But if you want to learn more about the heritage, and history of Panevėžys, you should definitely visit Panevėžys local lore museum. It has amazing archaeological, ethnographic, nature, photography, book and other collections and archives. There are several theaters in the city. This one is called Manas Theater with a statue of Don Quixote in its cute yard. Puppet Theater is famous for its tours around the cities and villages with carriages built by two horses. This drama theater is famous for both its performances and its notable director and founder. Here he is! Jonas Miltinis was a theater director and actor. He managed the Panevėžys drama theater intermittently for 40 years. He attended the Louvre School of Art. He listened to lectures at the Sorbonne University. The French government knighted him the Order of Arts and Literature. In 2007, a postage stamp dedicated to Jonas Miltinis was issued. He raised and worked with many outstanding actors during these years, including Panatas Banyonis, who also resided in Panevėžys for many years. In the city, there is Jonas Miltinis Memorial Apartment, which stores unique documentary and historical material. Last but not least for now, he loved yellow roses, and his admirers always bring yellow flowers to him. So do we. But let's go out for the final quick jaunt around our favorite places of the city. Like this one, Panevėžys Open Youth Center is a place where the youth of Panevėžys, regardless of their social status, are given equal opportunities to safely spend their free time and engage in activities that interest them. Ok, let's move further. This is the oldest bookstore in Lithuania, established in 1905. It's still working, by the way. This old building in the very center of Panevėžys used to be a hotel in Soviet times. It has 14 stores and it's the tallest building in the city. We are now at Panevėžys County Gabriela Petkevičaitė Bite Public Library, the main library in the northeast region of Lithuania. Let's talk about the outstanding woman whom the library is named after, Gabriela Petkevičaitė Bite. Her pen name, Bite, meaning B in Lithuanian, eventually became part of her last name. She was a Lithuanian educator, writer, activist, feminist, and a prominent Lithuanian patriot. In 1894, she read the first manuscript by Jomaita and helped publish it, which launched Jomaita's literary career. Together, they participated in the first All-Russian Women's Congress and even co-wrote a few plays. Gabriela Petkevičaitė Bita was an active participant in the movement for equal rights in Lithuania. She saw inequality as the cause of economic suffering and moral decline. You can find a monument with a prominent educator in front of the Oasa Pelchukona Gymnasia. Another famous resident of the city is Salome Neres, Lithuanian poet. In 1934, she was appointed a teacher at the State Girls High School. While teaching in Panevėžys, Salome led the art club and helped prepare literary evenings. Oh, bird watching is another specialty of the city! I hope you liked our tour! 
but a picture is worth a thousand words. So, see you in Panevejis!